Welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how to create a study area map in RGIS. So let's get started. Now go to the add section, add data. Now choose your required shape file. Now let me choose the, the shape file. So this is a Tamil Nadu shape file. Now go to the shape file, right click, open attribute. Now we can see a variety of states. Now we choose your required study area. So now let me choose the study area. So this is my study area. I've selected this, selected this area. Study area is called as Kanyakumari. So now let us uh, export this. Right click your shape file, go to the add section export data so now let me uh, enter the study area name now click ok yes so you can see uh, here that this is our study area. So now let me uh, close this Tamil Nadu shape file. So now let me uh, zoom this. So this is my study area. Now let me change the color. So now let us enter into a layout section. So you can see this option called layout view. Click this. Now you can also change the layout in landscape or in portrait. Currently it is in portrait. You can also change uh, to a landscape. Uh, to change to landscape uh, mode, go to the files. Go to the option called page and print setup. Now you can choose the orientation of your map. So let me select landscape. So now, now the map is in landscape uh, mode. Now let me turn off the state's shape file. So now let me zoom to the layer. Now let me add another data frame. Go to the option insert, add a data frame. Now a new data frame has been added to our map section. Now let me add my study area to into my new data frame. Click your study area, copy and right click the new data frame, paste layer. So the study area has been placed into your new data frame. So now let me highlight my study area using a tool called drawing. So go to the option called drawing and click choose a rectangular option. Now let me highlight my study area. I will draw a square over it. So right click go to the properties and fill color as a no color outline color 
choose as hello so now okay so let me choose another color I will choose a red color. So now you can uh, clearly see the study area has been highlighted in this shape file. My study area has been highlighted. So now let me insert title. Go to the option called insert and go to the option called title. Now let me enter the title as Tamil Nadu. So now click OK. Now drag into the data frame. You can also choose the color double click this option you will get a variety of options you can uh, change this color symbology now here you can choose the, the size the color and you can also edit the size and position Now let me enter the title for this my study area. Go to the option called insert titles. So now let me enter the title. You can also change the size option by double clicking the title. Go to the change symbols. Now let me choose the size. Now click OK. Apply and OK. So now let me make make some changes in the layer section. Let me uh, remove this and enter as study area. let me change the name for the district as a district boundary now let us insert the legend Go to the option called insert. Go to the option called legend. Now choose this Kanyakumari layer. Next. Now in this section you can change the, the color for this. That is the legend title, uh, legend title color size. Next. So you can choose the border. Border for the legend. I will choose as one background will be white and next next finish now let me turn on this layer layer activate uh, let me remove this 
Uh, go to the option called insert legend. Select both the sh shape files, study area and district boundary. Next. Next, choose the border as one, background as white. Next, next, next. So in the legend, we have study area and district boundary. So let me enter the insert north arrow. Go to the option called insert. Go to the north arrow. Now you can choose. I will choose this or this symbol. Okay. Now again go to the insert option, scale bar, alternating scale bar 1. Now double click this option, you will get a properties, the alternating scale bar properties. And the division units choose as a kilometers according to a requirement. I will choose as a kilometers and labels let me uh, rename as km so now apply and click ok the change has been reflected here insert option go to scale test text let me choose one kilometer is equal to 10 centimeters one centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers now click ok now again go to the option called insert scale bar let me choose this So insert, go to the option called scale text, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers, okay. So now let us create the grids. So right click, properties, new grids, and next, 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 next. Okay. Now go to the properties, labels. So label axis, format front size color so label orientation is left and right lines do not show uh, lines or ticks now go to the intervals so now okay so click ok apply and click ok So you can see that the font size of latitude and longitudes are smaller. Let me again right click, go to the properties. Now, access, label. So go to the label section. Now go to the size. Let me select as 10. Now apply and OK. Now OK. So the size has been increased. Now similarly, let's put uh, the grid for this data frame. 
click this right click properties new grid next 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 and finish uh, go to the properties now to the label orientation left and right and choose the size 8 now click ok apply and ok so let me remove the grids right click properties Uh, go to the option called lines do not show lines or ticks okay okay so now let me uh, minimize this coordinates right click go to the properties properties and intervals let me choose as two and similarly for y axis it's 2 now ok apply and ok so the number has been reduced now so let me place this uh, north arrow above so now let me uh, group this line and the highlighted one let me click this control and click this and click the highlighted one now right click select the option called group so now let me save our map go to the file option first just uh, let us save our mxt study area map save Now let us export our map. Go to the file, export map. Now you can choose your resolution as, as you wish. I will choose as 350 DPI. You can also save as JPEG, PDF, EPS. So it is your wish. I will save as JPEG. Save. So now let me show you the study area map. So this is our study area map we have prepared. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.